In order to see our mesh, we need a mesh renderer and a mesh filter. I make sure both are there by adding these two lines to the script I'll be adding to my donut game object. In my start method, I create a new mesh and assign it to the mesh filter. This is how my mesh renderer will know what to render. Every frame I create a donut's vertices and triangles, then rotate their vertices to my liking and add them to my mesh. If you are not familiar with the basics of mesh rendering, I go over them in this other video, but a quick recap is that a mesh needs a set of points, which are called vertices, and then it forms triangles out of those points, which should be drawn in a clockwise manner to be visible. Create your donuts. To draw my donuts vertices, I first calculate a circle's points with my desired amount of sides. I go over the details of this in this other video. If you choose few sides, it draws other polygons, which makes for interesting shapes as well. I make sure I draw this circle away from the donut center and that the faces are perpendicular to the line between it and the donut center. Once my circle or N polygon is drawn, I make as many copies of it as donut sides positioned and rotated around the donut. In a sense, I am making a circle out of circles. Connect the donut. Once that's done, I just need to connect the dots in the right order to draw my triangles. To do this, I go through every point of every circle and calculate which point is next in this circle and the matching two points in the next circle. Then, I draw two triangles that connect these four dots, making sure the triangles are drawn clockwise when seen from outside the donut. Once my vertices and triangles are set, I rotate my vertices to be able to handle rotation at a mesh level as opposed to game object rotation. The Even though I am creating, rotating, and assigning all vertices every frame for demonstration purposes, you ideally want to store a reference to your triangles and unrotated vertices and rotate and assign those when needed. And whenever changing your donut's properties, recalculate and assign your vertices and triangles again. Disclaimer alert, I don't fully know what I'm talking about.